Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing summer day. Today's video is going to be all about painting your tile floor. So my first step in painting my tile floor was to sand it. I saw a lot of people recommended this. This is kind of just to get all the grit and grime, anything that may be left over. I even had some paint from when we painted um, the baseboard trim and my walls on the floor that had still been there. So that kind of helped rough it up a little. The next thing that I did, like I said, is went in with my um, TSP cleaner and that does a great job of really getting rid of any uh, leftover residue, any dirt and grime, anything that's on there. Always safety first. Um, I think sometimes they even suggest wearing uh, eyewear as well. It is heavy duty. Um, it can definitely make your skin tingle if it's not used properly. So always make sure that you're wearing the proper protection on your hands and eyes. So you can, again, I just poured this right into a bucket. I had my gloves on, I took a rag, just soaked it in there and then just wiped down the floors with that. And then after that to really, um, then get that TSP cleaner off of the floor as well. Then I went in with just like a warm, I just think water, warm water, and just wiped everything down again one more time. Again, just to have a really clean surface. Um, the last step, and I can't remember if I did this before, whenever I initially went in, but I always like to take a tack cloth. So that it's just a little, little cloth and it just really, it picks up everything. So any little piece of dirt or dust that may have been left over, it just wipes those right away. So it's awesome to go in with that. So again, that you make sure you don't have any little pieces of dirt, especially on a bathroom floor. You just never know what's gonna be on a bathroom floor. So after I did the tack cloth, um, which again gets up all those little like microscopic pieces, um, I took this blue painter's tape and just went around the bottom of uh, all the um, trim and just to make sure, I mean, it is white, so it wasn't like a huge concern of mine if some of it got on there. After that, the next step is I went in with a brush and the paint. So the paint that I used was this one. It is the Bare Premium Low Luster Enamel Porch and Patio Floor Paint. Oh, and sorry, it's also, it's in color ultra pure white. The steps that I kind of saw online were to do the grout first, kind of map that out and really get your paint in between those cracks and then go in and do like a nice coat of the roller. You guys can see everything is now taped and I started doing the um, first coat of the primer. And so I saw this online that you can outline them and do the grout first, and then you'll go back with the roller. So you'll get a little more of an even coat and a smoother finish. I totally, I don't know how I missed it, but I didn't get any video of me actually rolling it, but I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You go around the edges with the brush, and then you go in with the roller and just even everything out, get like a nice coat on top of that. So as time went on, I did this probably over a period of like three weeks, just kind of taking my time. And whenever I would get the chance, I would do another coat. Just put on my second coat of primer. I still have that little area to do, but it's looking really good. It's already so much brighter in here. I had posted an IG story asking what people thought um, I should stencil onto it because that was my initial thought was that I thought it looked really cute. I'd seen other people use these stencils to create cute patterns on their um, ceramic floors and so I was really going to try that and um, I had a few people, a few friends of mine reach out and say that they had had other friends try it and that it was very time consuming. Um, if your stencil moved even by at the tiniest bit, then you would have to go back over. And so honestly, it just was a little more work than I could see myself getting into at that time. Again, I'm doing some other projects. And so maybe down the road, if I kind of get the itch, I'll go back and do the stencil. But for right now, I actually like how it looks. I knew I was gonna put a rug down and so that was gonna cover up quite a bit of it anyway. 
So to me, it was just most important to have it painted white as opposed to like the kind of grungy, like terracotta-ish color that it was before. And I'm happy how it turned out anyway, but again, I might go back to the stencil maybe someday. A lot of people also, there was a discussion of whether or not you should use a polyurethane coat on top of it. And I read a woman's post and I'll have to find and see if I can find where I read it about that if you put a polyurethane coat, yes, it does, you know, make it more protected, but it also makes it harder to touch up because say somebody were to chip, you know, a small part, then you almost have to sand around that entire area, paint it, and then recoat it. And sometimes the coats, um, because polyurethane is, you know, a thicker coat of basically like a sealant that you're putting on top of that. So sometimes it can give variations in the texture. And again, that was something that I just didn't want to put myself in the position to have to touch it up like that. Um, so right now it does not have a polyurethane coat on it. It is just, you know, this flat out of the can, nothing on top. And I think it's going to make touch-ups much easier if, and I'm assuming when that'll be necessary. So again, all in all, I would rate this a very easy project. I believe that a true beginner, as long as you know how to paint, can do this project. And so far, I have not had any problems. I haven't had a chip, um, and the color seems to be doing well, and it's actually been a great little addition. I think it was like a super cute update for a bathroom that was looking pretty like sad <laughs> beforehand. As always, please hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye guys.